We have made it to the end of the challenge. Ah. Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Brad Stickley coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. And in this video, I'll be attempting the 24 and 24 challenge. So I'll be running 24 miles and then drinking 24 beers with a cutoff time of 24 hours. So this idea was inspired by a video I saw back in July of 2018 posted on the Run 30 YouTube channel, where Kyle Roskamp, he ran 30 miles and drank 30 beers in just under 30 hours, uh, logged it all in 29 hours and three minutes. So I am modifying that a little bit and going for the 24 and 24. This is something that I've wanted to try for a few years now, but never really found the right time to do so. There's not a lot of opportunities to just run all morning and then drink a case of beer in the afternoon and evening. But being that we're about a month into our stay at home order due to COVID-19, I have nothing but time and I've been logging a lot of miles training for my first 100 mile ultra marathon. Uh, and I was just looking for something different to keep me engaged and motivated and put a weird twist on the monotony of long distance running and really spice up my training. So, my plan is to start at 8 a.m. tomorrow, and I'm currently training at about a nine minute per mile pace during my long runs. So I'm looking to complete the 24 miles anywhere between three and a half hours and four hours, just depending on how it feels out there. And then ultimately, I want to be two beers deep by 1 p.m. And I'm looking to keep a one beer for every 30 minute pace. Uh, I anticipate that slowing down later in the evening but I do want there to be some sort of a speed element to this whole thing. And I don't want to be up all night using the full 24 hours to finish this case of beer. And I am just really trying to see how fast I can complete the full challenge. And in true race day E fashion, I have a few of my favorite carb loading items, including the serious cheese pizza from Donato's. Got a big old pretzel from my friends over at Gamut Beer Garden. So I'm gonna crush all this now and get started in the morning. All right, we just hit, it's actually 8.01 a.m. Rolling out there now, get these 24 miles out of the way. Just to know that when I return, we got 24 beers waiting. Peace. Here we are at the turnaround point. It's about 9.50 in the morning. Uh, just turning around, heading 12 miles back south, right on pace, feeling good. Uh, it's pretty nice out now, quite a bit warmer than when I started. So looking forward to a nice backyard boozing day soon. And right after I turned around, I found this deer hanging out with me. That's gotta be a good sign, right? Good morning, buddy. Be safe out there. Checking back in here, a little bit over 20 miles, less than four to go in downtown, beautiful Columbus, Ohio now. Uh, it's a little bit after 11, like 11, 18. It's about 52 degrees out, beautiful day. Just gotta get through the Scioto Audubon, hit Schiller Park, 
ready to get home and drink some beers. I'm thirsty. All right, the first part of the challenge is complete. 24 miles, just over three hours and 55 minutes. So right around the pace I wanted to be at, a little bit on the slower side. My hip flexors were definitely feeling it. Walked some inclines, had to stop and grab some footage here and there, but onto the second half of the challenge now. In my perspective, probably the harder part of the challenge, but it's a little bit afternoon. Just cracked my first beer. So cheers, here we go. Put your heart into my hands. Put your heart into my hands You 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 put your heart into my hands Four, twenty-four. We made it. Royal, what do you think? It's the last of it right there. Done for. Twenty-four and twenty-four, and way under what I anticipated.